Hello friends, welcome to Ames Today YouTube channel. You are watching Neat Foundation Biology Habitat Adaptations in Living Organisms. In this video, we are going to discuss about adaptations in plants, particularly aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are the plants which live in water. They are called aquatic plants. They are scientifically called as hydrophytes. The aquatic plants are the plants that have adapted to living in aquatic environment. They are also referred to as hydrophytes or macrophytes to distinguish them from algae and other microphytes. There are three types of aquatic plants. They are floating plants, fixed plants, and underwater plants means submerged plants. So these plants, uh, their uh, organization, their internal organization, everything uh, suits them to survive in water. Nymphia, water lily, lotus, Wallisneria, Trapa, Hydrilla. So so many water plants are there. Particularly these plants, uh, they possess a special type of tissue which helps them to adapt to survive in water. Let us discuss in detail about the types of hydrophytes. Floating hydrophytes. Floating hydrophytes uh, are some plants which float on water. Some plants like duckweed, green algae, Wolfia, water hyacinth, and pistia are some of the floating plants that float freely on top of the water. They are called floating plants. They have spongy bodies made of a spongy tissue called aerenchyma. So, like a sponge, there are lots of empty spaces throughout their body and are filled with air. So, the tissue is air and chyma tissue. These floating hydrophytes, they float freely on the surface of water. Example, Echornia, Pistia, Olfia and Lemna. These are some of the examples of these uh, floating hydrophytes. This uh, tissue, particularly erenchyma tissue, makes the plants light enough to float. Let us discuss about the next uh, type of hydrophytes, fixed hydrophytes. Some plants like water lily and lotus have roots that fix the plants in the mud at the bottom of the bot. They are known as fixed aquatic plants. Roots of such plants are fixed in the soil at the bottom of a pond. They have plate-like leaves that float over the surface of water. The stomata in the leaves are on the upper surface. The stems are hollow and very light. This helps the leaves to float. So fixed hydrophytes are rooted hydrophytes with floating leaves. The roots of these plants are fixed in the soil while leaves are floating on the surface of water. Example, Nymphia, Lotus, Victoria and Trapa. The stems are very flexible. They bend with the flow of water so they do not get damaged by strong water currents. So, these are the adaptations like uh, the plate like leaves float over the surface of water, the stomata on the lower surface of leaf, stems are hollow and very light and the stems are flexible. These are all adaptations shown by the fixed hydrophytes. Next, uh, submerged hydrophytes are underwater hydrophytes. Some plants like pondweed, tape grass, hydrilla are some common plants which live and grow underwater completely. 
they are called underwater or submerged plants their roots fix them in the muddy soil these plants have narrow thin leaves without pores these plants move along with the current of water such plants have very delicate shoots they breathe through their body surface the stem are flexible and have air spaces we can grow such plants in aquarium also particularly this uh, hydrilla and valisneria we can grow in the aquariums rooted or submerged hydrophytes they are water plants but the roots are fixed they are completely inside water unlike uh, the fixed hydrophytes hydrilla valisneria and uh, potamogeton these are the examples of uh, the submerged hydrophytes thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel